What's going on guys, Infamous Beats. It's good to be back, I know it's been quite a while since my last upload, but now I've managed to upgrade my whole setup. And I've, I will also be launching another YouTube channel shortly, which is called Lazy Beat Making. But enough talk, let's get to it. As you probably might have heard, if you're not living under a freaking rock, Migos dropped Culture 2, so I thought, and it's already blown out, obviously. So I thought I'll do something like that with um, uh, a pattern by pattern breakdown of a beat that has that metro booming sample kind of feel to it and uh, this is what i've come up with i'm gonna show you the pattern by pattern breakdown and then i'm gonna go right ahead into the final playlist so let's start with the melody which is made up by this sample which is a future melody sample that has a kind of like a feel a plucky feel to it and then this is uh, then slowed up to have speed to switch things up this is what it sounds like there's that kind of metro vibe to it and uh, as you can see it's reversed obviously with the sampling you have to resize the sample so that it sounds nice according to your timeline and uh, i've added the snares and that can actually help you to sync everything up so this is basically a filler snare and this is uh, the main young chop snare as you can see here they're layered up so that it sounds bigger and it sounds better this is a filler snare and this actually creates an anticipation with the drop then let's move on to the different percussions as you can see with this one there's a i'm actually play this one alone by itself this is pretty much an open hi-hat with different octaves and then has also a different speed creates like a, a nice uh, ambient to the to the beat and uh, doesn't leave and that much space that much empty space from one uh, percussion to the next and then also i'm gonna play as you can see the siren this siren right here the usual The usual kill bill slow down siren and then there's this bell at the opening of the bar um this is uh, let's move on to the hi-hats this is a triplet and i actually once there's the kick here it actually speed things up and then there's the snare this part right here i really like this triplet right here so as you can see it speeds up and then it slows down before the drop it makes the beat feel really bouncy and wavy especially this part right here with the at roll i pretty much just changed the velocity from what it was what it normally is which is pretty much everything is aligned and this is what it sounds like so they have all the same volume of actually if you right click on the first one and then you keep the you keep it clicked and it will create this nice riser effect so this part is really nice to create anticipation for the drop and then uh, obviously this is the kick nothing too fancy just on c5 uh, there's a quick quick double up here and then this at the closing of the bar I also really like this one on the snare. And in case you were wondering how to see all the different notes in these grayed out notes, you can either click Alt V or go on to helpers, which is right here. Uh, helpers right here. And uh, it's ghost channels and it actually helps you a lot with the especially when laying down the bass as well let me undo that and uh speaking of which let's go on to the bass which i've created four or five different patterns on to make make it more interesting but the most interesting one is this one with the slide and i'm actually play the whole thing
this part is really nice because it, it uplifts the whole beat and then it drops and then it drops down to c4 again so it, it, there's like a two octave excursion from c6 to c4 uh with the with the slide and the way i did that is you just pretty much just lay the note in and uh, click on this little tab here and what that does is it will actually make the the note transition create that nice uh pitch band effect so that's pretty much it for the pattern by pattern breakdown it's like a super simple beat with the i don't know like six five six patterns this is what the actual layout of the beat looks like i've added some more automations like as you can see there's like the tape stop here uh rise um fade in fade out and also some uh uh, frequencies changes and with the love filter it brings out the bass a lot and um, this part I really like of the new uh, FL studio as you can see from this I've made four different bass patterns by just cloning the first one and then changes some notes in it and uh, actually the bass um, this is what uh, the original bass sounded like and I've added some uh with camel crusher this is what the original bass sounded like without this is actually camel crusher not homicide and um i've added this plugin so that it gives that a uh, nice um growly feel and that typical uh metro boom in slightly distorted bass there's also this uh, melody switch up which goes from the main melody which is this one to an half speed version of the same melody also very metro boomini type thing to switch things up so this is what the final beat sounds like shout out to sarcastic and uh, this was a collab with him uh, he's a young producer from Bologna. You better check him out because he's fucking hard. Now I'm gonna shut the fuck up and let you hear and enjoy the beat. I'm out. Play go.
Yeah, I don't mind.